Afternoon. This is Papa Myshar Farm Builder Things. It is July 9th, 2020. We're in front of the barn here, Myshar Farm. That's our website, Myshar Farm. Zach's been putting together a playlist for you so you don't have to screw through a thousand different uh, videos. Uh, if you're wanting to look at some of the stuff that I'm talking about, it'll be Papa Builder Things is the playlist and it'll have all the goodies. Um, so let's go inside and I'm going to show you around. We're going to hit the um, hatchery first and, um, and then we'll go on from there. We're going to do this in a series of videos so we'll keep them short and uh, we'll keep them and we'll try to keep them coming. So this here's our shipping area and uh, we've just just put in some new conveyor lines uh, for the boxes to roll down which has been pretty handy and um, but that's a that's another story. Here's our hatchery. Um, I know Zach has showed you around before but I want to get into a couple more details I guess. Um, of course, we have an epoxy floor. We got a floor drain now. There's another drain over there. Uh, this is all in an effort to where we can use our power washer. Um, these uh, power strips have the uh, receptacles in them. These are shop made. Um, these are made out of the same two by eights, a metal two by eights that we use for the floor joists here for the upstairs storage. And uh, of course, these brooders are on wheels. So when we are ready to move these into the main barn or to ship them out, we just take them all. We don't have to put them in cages and our little boxes and catch them 15 times. So that's been pretty handy. Our feeders are sort of new in that we're using a, a, a bigger feeder now. Uh, Zach wanted to have a little more volume. Uh, they, they have little twist things here. Um, these feeders we, we make in the shop. They're made out of aluminum. Uh, as you know, we, there's a lot of waste involved, so we have this little tray underneath to catch the waste uh, and, and hopefully not too much poop that we can dump those back in on a daily basis. He's been through this before, but we use this uh, blue paper towels. It's important to use the blue paper towels. It is half by a, half uh, screen underneath. Some people think it's too big for the baby chicks and they want to use a quarter by quarter, but of course the poop won't go through that. And, uh, and the, the, the chicks are on this for, I think, two weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they got a nice uh, firm foundation to stand on. And uh, it's good for their spray leg, too, because they, they're not sliding around on something. We got these all lined in aluminum as well. Stainless steel would be better, of course. But we go on the good, better, best method. So you can make it good. You can make it better. You can make it the best. Uh, the idea is that you're always trying to improve. We have had, we do have two different doors here uh, so that they don't be jumping out the side when you're trying to get them. And um, I see a lot of people online that are making brooders or cages or something. And they have huge doors that swing open. And I have to believe that they're going to have trouble with that design because they got to open it so far to get in that the quail are going to come out. So... Uh, try to keep your doors a little smaller. Um, when we get to the main barn, you'll see how we got smaller doors uh, to, to function things. So that's about all I got to say there. We do have the, the uh, poop trays, of course, underneath here. Uh, this is the only place that we use poop trays still is in the brooders. And um, every time we have a, I think they're in here for four weeks, five weeks, uh, and only having the blue on there for two weeks and then they get power washed out in between new hatches. So that's about that there. We do have a, a propane furnace in here but we didn't use it but a couple days last year. It wasn't very cold last year but just the ambient temperature from the heat lamps uh, was able to do it but we did super insulate this area. So it's well insulated. It's got six inches of insulation, another six in the ceiling, which I know is not super duper, but adequate. We have a ventilation fan over here that's uh, just on a switch. And then we go to our brooder, our little uh, lockdown here. This was a freebie from a local bar. 
that uh, <clears throat> didn't work anymore. We're always looking for that doesn't work. Is this on? Is this on? Yeah. So we won't open that too much. But um, I do want to open it a little bit. So this here is the lockdown. And um, this is the quarter by quarter screen. Uh, this is made out of uh, PVC material, half inch. Uh, Home Depot sells it and then we got some aluminum things in here to ho help hold the screen up and um, I think we just cut these out by hand and then routed, rounded them off um, The reason I use the PVC is because it will not um, swell up and or rot away and Stays pretty it's just 45 and it's PVC like a PVC pipe so you can use PVC glue and we got a little poop tray underneath here as well, which really helps keep it clean. And uh, we do have a video on this uh, in the pop, my pop, uh, pop builder things playlist. Thank you, Zach. That's an interesting sound. Does that happen like that? Um, this, of course, is our uh, second Gigantor uh, made out of a milk thing. Uh, we have it um, as actually a 12 volt actuator, so we had to convert the 120 to 12 volts. That, that, that's under here. Our heater is just a hot plate, and um, um, like yo, so you can be able to adjust that um, in terms of how much heat is coming out. Um, so that's we've got. You know, we were using more elaborate heat sources for that but they were expensive, they still burn out. Then we have our four inch computer fans, uh, all blowing in the same direction. This is going that way, that's going that way. We have a tray up here, uh, just a Tupperware tray with a sponge in it. And, um, and the fans blow across that sponge. It also has a little float in it. The floats we get from a hydroponic store because we're looking for a real litty bitty float and uh, if, you, if you can't find a float, but Amazon's probably got it under float. Um, this design here is a little bit different in that we have these little lockdowns where we, we can lock these in and slide them out as opposed to having to drop them in. So that was a big improvement on that design. We can also stop it when it's halfway so we don't have to deal with it down or up. We still are using this humidikit here for the humidifier as well as that and uh, this one kind of just kind of uh, that one keeps it at you know a, a uncontrollable level and this keeps it where we want it to be and then we have our timer here our thermostat here I meant that controls the hot plate and the hot plate when it's cold outside you may have to crank that up to a number seven or an eight or whatever but in the summertime, you may not want to have that or a seven or eight, so you can crank it back down and have, um, have it uh, so it doesn't get hot quite so fast. So that's kind of, this is the timer that goes every two hours that makes it actuate. This has the humidity control and the temperature control, but of course not the actuator. So the humidity control, temperature control, but no actuator. And we have several sensors in here that tell us temperature throughout uh, the thing. Super easy to keep clean. I've had other designs that I've made which had it just a pain to keep clean. But again, these are on the playlist and how we made it <coughs> a little more elaborate. So that's our... You can see that it's 90, almost 90 degrees in here. So we're not, we don't have many lights on. Um, we want to know how hot it is in just the ambient temperature so that we can keep track of that. But everybody looks pretty happy. We got, uh, how old are these? Five weeks old? Four weeks old? Hmm? Oh. Or a week and a half. <coughs> these are our Jumbo Wilds. Week and a half old. Cool. All right, so let me just give you a peek in here. Next video is going to be the main barn. <coughs> All right.
want you uh, thank you for guys joining us and uh, make sure you push the like button and the, the bell so you can get further notices and share if you care to and all that good stuff that really helps us out so signing off see you right we're going to go right into here for the next video i don't know how often he's going to post them but he'll post them on <laughs>